What is the corrosion barrier in FRP pipe or tanks, and how do you know what to specify? Hi, I'm Dave Chapman, Sales and Service Manager for RPS Composites. FRP or fiberglass pipe and tanks are basically made up of two parts, the structural layers and the corrosion barrier. The structural layer has a high glass content. It might be filament wound, or contact molded. The corrosion barrier has a high resin content. It's not included in the structural calculations. Its sole purpose is really corrosion resistance. Go to the RPS Chemical Resistant Guide or the Resin Manufacturer's Resin Selection Guide. These will tell you what type of resin are required for your service and any special requirements for the corrosion liner. Generally speaking, use a vinyl ester resin for strong bases and most services below 180 degrees F, like Duracane 411. Use a Novolac vinyl ester for strong acids and services above 180 degrees F, like Duracane 470. The fire retardant versions of these resins provide a reduced flame spread, class 1 per ASTM E84, and can offer improved corrosion resistance in some caustic environments. But generally speaking, the fire retardant versions of these resins offer the same corrosion resistance for most services as the standard non-fire retardant equivalents. So you could use Duracane 411 or 510C if you wanted fire retardants. You could use Duracane 470 or 510N if you wanted fire retardants. The corrosion barrier consists of two parts the chemical surfacing veil, and the chop strand mat. The surfacing veil is one or two layers of reinforcement. It's about 90% resin by weight. And basically, there are three types of veil commonly used. Nexus, or polyester veil, sea glass veil, and carbon veil. Generally speaking, all three types of veil will work well for most services. Again, go to the RPS Chemical Resistance Guide or the Resin Manufacturer's Resin Selection Guide for details on your specific service. Nexus Veil is good for a pH range of 3 to 14. Definitely use Nexus Veil if there are fluorides in your system. Those will attack glass veils. Use Nexus Veil for black, green, and white liquors, hydroxide, chlorine dioxide, plating solutions, and lithium services. Some services will require two layers of Nexus Veil. Again, go to the RPS Chemical Resistance Guide or Resin Manufacturer's Resin Selection Guide for more information. Some manufacturers will have less experience with Nexus Veil, so watch for pitting in trapped air and dry spots if specifying Nexus Veil. Sea Glass Veil is the most commonly used type of veil. It's good for the pH range of 12 all the way down to zero. Don't use sea glass veil if there are fluorides in your system. It will be attacked. Use sea glass veil for strong acids and hypochlorites. Carbon veil is not commonly used in FRP pipe or tanks, but it is good for sodium hydroxide and some other services. It's not good for sodium hypochlorite. Generally speaking, carbon veil is used when you need electrical conductivity in your system, and it's combined with carbon powder in the resin. Generally speaking, each ply of these surfacing veils will create about 0.015 inches or 0.4 millimeters of thickness. The second part of the corrosion barrier is the chop strand mat layers. The chop strand mat layers will contain about 75% resin by weight. Chop strand mat is used because the glass is chopped into short, half inch to two inch long fibers. And this prevents chemicals from wicking along the glass fibers. Thus, it's called the anti-wicking barrier. Modern FRP laminates use corrosion-resistant glass, sometimes called the ECR glass, and that better resists degradation than standard e-glass. Common chop strand mat has a weight of 1.5 ounces per square foot, or 450 grams per square meter. Each ply will create about 0.05 inches or 1.2 millimeters of thickness. The vast majority of services use one veil and two layers of chop strand mat, giving you 100 mils of thickness. Again, 
Generally speaking, you can use any of the three types of veils described above. In the RPS Chemical Resistance Guide, P150 and H150 have a 100 mL corrosion liner consisting of one veil and two mat. Sometimes you'll need to use a double veil or a double liner, two veil and four mat, for aggressive services. In the RPS Chemical Resistance Guide, H150-200 has a 200 mL corrosion liner consisting of two veil and four mat. Services that have a B or rating or less for P150 and H150, but an A rating for H150-200, indicate that the 200 mil corrosion barrier is required for a long service life. Liners greater than 250 mils in thickness can cause fabrication issues, especially at flanges. Note the heavily scalloped flange with the heavy corrosion liner. Consider using a dual laminate when greater than 250 mils of FRP liner has been recommended. Finally, there are two cases where special liners are used in FRP pipes or tanks. For abrasion resistance, use Nexus Veil, Sea Veil, or Carbon Veil, and two or four layers of chop strand mat, but add about 35% by weight silicon carbide or aluminum oxide to the liner resin. This is very common in FGD piping at coal-fired power plants and wastewater piping systems when solids are involved. When conductivity is required, use one layer of carbon veil and two layers of chop strand mat, but add fumed carbon to the liner resin or in the veil layer only. You'll need to use conductive adhesive or conductive edge caps to have the conductivity continue throughout the piping system. And that's it. For more information or contact information, please go to rpscomposites.com.